open with prayer. What a powerful church service we have already had. Amen? Amen. Amen. Father, I come to your presence right now. Your Spirit, the Holy Spirit, has been moving so beautifully with so much confirmation in the Word, so much speaking from heaven, so much divine utterance among us. Father, we thank you that you are here with us, that you move in us and through us, and that you're going to use this earthen, earthen vessel some more. Speak to me, Holy Spirit. Speak through me. Help me get out of the way that you may flow unhindered, unrestrained, free and fresh into the hearts and the minds and the spirits of everyone that has ears to hear. And those that wrestle with the, with the truth, let your grace move on their hearts to bring conviction and repentance. For without you, Holy Spirit, no man comes to the Father. No man is saved, lest you, Holy Spirit, grabs their heart and leads them to the cross. I ask that you have free movement, free authority, free, free dominion, in the rest of this service, in Jesus' name. Jesus. The people of God said, Amen. 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 You can be seated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. I love my church. Love I love you, you Pastor. Pastor. Amen, amen. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God, God is good. good. Amen. amen. Well, uh, as Pastor Tony said, for people to get settled. Thank you, Lord. As Pastor Tony said, and then as Pastor Darlene was moving, uh, how her message or the Lord's message through her uh, confirmed and dovetailed so beautifully with his message. And then... Uh, I think you'll also see, I'm just going to teach for a few minutes today. You'll also see where the Holy Spirit will probably confirm and dovetail a lot of what he had put in my heart with things that he's brought out through them. Amen? Amen. If you have your Bibles, open up with me to the book of Daniel. Daniel chapter 12. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Very familiar scripture. <clears throat> Every time I minister the Word of God, I minister by unction and direction of the Holy Spirit. Years and years ago, and I still do to some degree, don't get me wrong, I'll look at old notes or old messages or messages that have already been taught by uh, men and women of God in the past, and uh, it'll inspire me to share that message, repeat that message, to the body of Christ. Amen? Amen. Look at somebody and say, no revelation. No revelation. Say it like you're excited. No revelation. No revelation. Is of private interpretation. It's of private interpretation. interpretation. Amen. What's that mean? That means that the revelations of God are for all mankind. Amen. Amen. And that everybody's going to receive and understand revelation at their level of understanding. Which means this. You're going to get something that's going to become real to you Maybe a lot sooner than your neighbor. Amen? Amen. So then you have the God-given right and the God-given obligation and responsibility to take that revelation that you have and pass it on that they might get this to the same level of revelation. Amen. So well, you, so you never get this idea, well, I can't teach that because somebody will know Pastor TC taught it. Or I can't teach that because somebody will know Pastor Tony taught it. And it'll look like I'm still in their message. That's just pride. Yes. Come on, brother. I remember back in the early movements of the of the Word of Faith, uh, these and these brothers are so much fun. Brother Hagen, Brother Copeland, Brother Seville, and uh, Brother Oral Roberts, and they all have great sense of sense of humor and great personalities. And Brother Hagen would teach something, and he was 
when they when, listen to me very closely, and we, I need to say this and establish it in the spirit for the generation that we live in, because there's so much confusion. That's why the Holy Spirit's leading me to teach this message right now. It actually just seized me and gave me a burden to teach it. And that's what I'm leading up to. Sometimes I'll teach a message because I'm, I'm always impressed to teach that message. Sometimes I'm impressed to teach a message that comes straight from the throne room. Sometimes I'm impressed to teach a message that I've heard somebody else teach. Then sometimes I'm compelled by the Spirit. You must teach this. Amen. 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 Now the difference is the one I heard from Brother Hagen is good, and I've taught Brother Hagen's messages. The ones I've heard from Kenneth Copeland are good, and I've taught Brother Copeland's messages. The ones I've heard from Jerry Seville, Oral Roberts, I've, I've taught from Wells that other brothers have watered me from. Amen? Because no revelation is a private interpretation. If I get fed by it, and I know you haven't been watered by it, I not only have a, have a, a right to teach it again, but I have an obligation to teach it again. Because you may not have found that well. And I might be the source of that well spring of revelation to you. Amen. 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 So no revelation is of private interpretation. Whatever you've heard a truth from one man or woman of God, you take that truth, add to it, and pass it on to the rest of the men and women of God. Amen. 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 Then there's other times when the Holy Spirit will speak to you. You've never heard it, and so you teach from your own wellspring of life. Amen. 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 And water the brothers and sisters from the wells of God's Spirit in you. How many of you know out of your belly should flow rivers of living Amen. water? You should be a wellspring of the life of God. All of you are the vessels of the Lord, the wells of revelation of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Then those are the two primary ways. You get it from, some, from God through somebody else as you're growing up. You get it from God to you as you're continuing to grow. And then there's times when God will even go beyond that and release an explosion of revelation which brings a compelling that you must deliver this in a now word for a now hour. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now, I'm going on to say this. Many, many, many generals of faith have gone on to be with the Lord. There's great confusion in the body of Christ. Brother Hagen's gone. Oral Roberts gone. Uh, T.L. Osborne's gone. Billy Graham's gone. R.W. Shambach's gone. Uh, Lester Summerall's gone. All these generals that I was raised up under are gone. The general that raised me up personally, Brother Jack Coe, is now gone. Uh, these great men are, have been uh, fulfilling their course, going on to be with the Lord. Now it's the time for the Joshua's and Caleb's to rise up. Amen? Amen. Now the Joshua's and Caleb's are going to teach what Moses taught. Amen. Amen. And when you defer from that, it's when you start getting in trouble. When you defer from this is when you start getting in trouble. How many of you know that this generation, this end time generation, has been more prone to throw this out than embrace it? Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. So we need to get back to the Word of God like never before. We need to stay true to the Word of God like never before. Amen. We need to continue the Word of God with more understanding and revelation added to it, not taking things away from it to fit my current time. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So with that, I now have an obligation to step up in the anointing of Elisha and, and Joshua and Caleb and start leading a new generation in the same path we were originally targeted to. Amen. 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 Look at somebody tell them, don't get off track now. Don't, don't get, get off track, off track now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many, many churches, many, many uh, thousands of believers all over the world are getting off track in the time when they need to be more true to the word, which makes them more stable and sure than ever before. Amen. This is not a time to wander. This is not a time to go out seeking some new thing. This is not a time to go out and look for something exciting. I guarantee you, Satan will use that to your own destruction and harm. Amen. 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 You got one of these? Amen. It's holy. Amen. It's sacred. Amen. It is God in print. Don't play with it. 
Amen. It was never meant to be entertaining. It was never meant for entertainment. It was never meant to adapt to you. This is God, God's instructions. It's holy, it's sacred, and there is a command of God that still maintains, obey it. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Sister Tamina even opened up with an opening word in praise and worship of how, and we should have recorded it, a voice from the prophetess releasing the word to come back to holiness and sanctification. Well, you can't be any more holy than you understand that God is holy and his word is holy. Amen. You can't be holy outside of God. You can't be holy outside of understanding of his holy word. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I'm saying all that to say this. We live in a generation with more spiritual, cosmic, etheric, so-called knowledge and, and wisdom than any other generation. You're surrounded with soothsayers, fortune tellers, palm readers on every corner. You're surrounded with false prophets and so-called holy men and women on every street corner. Everybody that's got has a Bible that they don't read is now called a prophet. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Everybody that can't submit to authority wants to be their own authority. They can't submit to a church, so they start their own church. Or now there's just this great big movement that's absolutely anti-Christ that God's done with the church. Right. That's baloney. Jesus Amen. Christ said, upon this rock, I, I will build my church. Yeah. Amen. Well, that, you don't have to be in a building to be a church. Oh, really? Well, throw away three quarters of this New Testament because it's all about order in the church, collections in the church, deacons and elders in the church, how to behave in church, and what to do in church. Amen. 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 That's a perfect example of so-called knowledge getting away from the foundations of the Word and now coming out with some new thing that's not the old pathways of revelation whatsoever. Amen. 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 Look at somebody say, stay true to church. Stay, stay true, true to church. church. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus is all about building the church. Now with all that said, look at Daniel chapter 12. Very familiar scripture. We're going to look at verse 4. Which absolutely, you'll hear prophecy teacher after prophecy teacher after prophecy teacher referring to this scripture about the end times, the times that we live in now. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words. You know what that means? Look at Pastor. There are seasons when God will speak to people but not allow them to continue the revelation. There's How many of you ever heard Pastor say, I, I see and hear from the Lord ten times more than he releases me to speak? Yes. What's that mean? Just because I'm getting revelation doesn't mean I'm supposed to blurt everything out. you got to speak a word in due season. Amen. But the word will stay. It doesn't evaporate just because you didn't say it today. Come on. Amen. Amen. That's for some of you with a, a prophetic call on your life that think you got to say, Thus saith the Lord every time you hear something. Every time I hear God speak, my first question is, Do you want me to release that? Many, many, many times. Nine to one, he tells me, hold it for now. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's exactly what he's doing with the prophet Daniel. He's given Daniel these great revelations of heaven, great end time visions of what surely has, is, and is still coming to pass. Amen? Amen. And he says, now this part, shut up. Keep the book closed. That I showed you, but it's not going to be spoken and it's not time for it to be released until the end days. Hallelujah. Come on. Look at somebody say it's not. This revelation is for this day. This revelation is for this day. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to show you two sides of this revelation. First, the prophecy teachers teach this, and it is in actuality. Just look around. You can tell it's absolutely factual and true. Watch it. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal them, seal the book, even to the time of the end. Mm -hmm. Say, that's my time. That's, that's my, my time. time. That's now, Pastor. That's, that's now, now, Pastor. Say, like your Pentecostal. That's, that's now, now, Pastor. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge 
shall be increased. Hallelujah. How many of you know, I know dozens of prophecy teachers that refer to that and show it to our generation, and factually so. We can get from one side of the globe to the other faster than any generation has ever lived. We can now go from this planet to other planets. No other generation could do that. We have faster planes, faster trains, faster cars. Amen? Amen. We can speak to somebody from the comfort of our computer desk to somebody in Germany and Russia. Knowledge has greatly increased, and man, by these abilities and by the driving of this world system, run back and forth here and there faster than any other generation. Partly because of ability and partly because of the driving of the spirits of this age. Men and women are more busy now with things that they think they understand than any other generation. When in fact they're more blinded than any other generation by all this knowledge Amen. that abounds. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God told me to tell you, this church and everybody out on the internet that the knowledge of this generation... The wisdom of this generation is more insidious and evil and organized and planned in destruction than you could possibly ima imagine unless you walk fully in the Spirit. Amen. Amen. What are you saying, Pastor? I'm saying this. You don't have any idea the average church, the average Christian, doesn't have any idea the insidious evil of the so-called knowledge that you're working with every day. In these days. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You don't understand that most of your computers are spying on you. You don't understand that most of your cell phones are spying on you. And tracking you. And watching you. You don't understand that, that these so-called uh, satellites in the air that get you those 2,000 channels to watch. And suck up your time. And dump un unbelievable tons of unusable knowledge into your head that you don't need that drives you to more busyness and more distractions and more cloudy. You have no idea the spirits that are truly behind that. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Come on, brother. You think, wow, look at how great and wonderful technology has served mankind. You don't understand that most of that has been, the origin of it is evil. Yes. Amen. Amen. Most of that was designed and came out of the intellect of the princes of this air. Yes. Yes. The princes of darkness. The princes of evil. Yes. Now, I don't have time to go into all of it, but do you realize that the man that birthed the whole concept of, of, of marketing was the, the, the nephew of, of uh, Freud, Sigmund Freud. Roy didn't know God from a man in the moon. Do you understand that this man, the son of Sigmund Freud, or the nephew, one of the two, I think it was his son, lived in the United States. He is the one that birthed the entire concept of marketing. And here was it, here, everybody that studies marketing will know who I'm talking about. I don't remember his name. Here is what he came up with. Before he came out with marketing, people would say, if you're in the need of a shirt, this is a good shirt. This is why we think it's a good shirt. We've made it available to you. He said, no. You need to take control over their souls. He said, emotions, same thing. Amen. You need to make people compelled with the idea their life depends on having what you have. That jumps it all the way from a market system to a demonically energized delusion. Amen. Come on. Wow. Amen. Amen, brother. Amen. Come on. Did you hear me? Amen. Amen. One was a market system. Mr. Carpenter that builds chairs. I'm looking for a chair. Well, Bill has sells chairs. I sell chairs. Just look around whatever suits your purpose. Marketing says this. If you don't buy this chair, you will not ever be comfortable another day in your life. You've got to have this one. Now, it just went from supply for demand to demonic manipulation. Yes. Amen. Amen. And that has energized everything in our society since, including sex and marriage and church. Yes. Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The 
spirit that's caused this generation to be able to run back and forth as fast as you can is a spirit unction and birthed from hell. It's not good enough to have an, a fruit. You've got to have the apple. And it's not just fruit. It changes your whole life having this fruit. Are you getting the parallel? Yes, amen. Don't, you don't just need a car. You need this car that every the woman of your dreams will be compelled to ride in your car. See, there's a difference between supply and demonic soul control. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to say something else that's going to knock your hat in the creek. Please listen close. Anybody heard of Project Blue Beam? Amen. Project Paperclip. Amen. Amen. What are those? What are they? They are government-controlled, scientific, knowledgeable programs of mind and behavioral control. To where the whole process is this. If you can control the way somebody thinks, they will be compelled to obey your commands. A common word for it is brainwashing, but it's extremely scientific. If I can control what you think, I can compel you to obey me. What does this Bible address about thoughts and imaginations? Casting down. down. What does marketing do? Raise them up. Turn Makes them you up. receive them. Beyond, it's called what? Compulsive buying. I didn't plan on buying that, but I, I, I couldn't leave without it. You've been programmed, Christian. I don't really need a credit card, but all six of them are maxed out. You've been programmed to where now they can control your actions to where you feel you must have what they've told you to have. Amen. The knowledge of this generation is ten times more insidiously evil than you could possibly imagine. <clears throat> it has formed society to the T of the destruction in the edge where it stands even now. You look at government, what when they look at Democrats and Republicans, what do they say? What do they say right now? What are they saying? There's not a lick of difference between either side of the aisle. They're both corrupt. They're both controlled. But yet we still feel compelled to vote for one or the other side. But we know there's not a difference in either one of them. Right. Why? They control our actions. Amen. If you don't vote, it's all going to collapse. Amen. We've been trained. Amen. That's why so many people have trouble with Donald Trump. Nobody on either side wanted him, but God did. Amen. 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 That shows you the chaos that will happen not only in your life, but in society, when you step out of the world system knowledge that compels you to obey and something spiritual happens, it disrupts everything. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to tell you something. Project Paperclip and Project Bluebeam began under the demonically possessed sick scientists Dr. Joseph Mengele mm -hmm. in the prisoner of war concentration camps in Germany. His blueprints are what birthed Blue Beam and Paperclip that was taken with the German scientists into the U.S. government and continued. Don't think for a minute that Satan has not organized to your destruction everything from the time you get up in the morning to the time you go to bed. From travel to science to recreation to clothing to trinkets to jewelry to everything about you, you are controlled and motivated and moved. Amen. 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 Even Christians. Right up to the edge of the eastern sky being split and us being called home, the church is manipulated 
away from the purity of this. Amen. To where now we have even Christian pastors speaking against Trump, pro-homosexual, pro-abortion, disguising it as love. Now, when you start mixing this with the brainwashing, soul control, and life manipulations of the princes of darkness, there's no hope. What is the hope? Jesus. No, not Jesus. That's blasphemy. No, because most of Christians are voting Democrat and Republican and hate Trump. Would you say that again, sister? God, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. That's exactly where we're going. You can have Jesus and be blinded. Amen. Amen. You can have Jesus and say the Holy Ghost is of the devil. Right. You can have Jesus and say those gifts of the Spirit, that's just devils working in the church. You can have Jesus be completely controlled. Amen. Unable to see God moving and unable to see the fact that Satan's moving you. Amen. Goes in with not having the authority of God in your life, for your marriage, for your life, to avoid the traps, the flaws, the pitfalls, the death sentence of sin. What would Satan love to have the body of Christ do? Side with emotions over the word. That's why you get these little sayings. And if anybody watches me, they can sue me later. Don't you ever buy anything from Williams and Sonoma again, ever. You know, the kitchen supply and the beautiful plates. And I love them. And then I walked by there the other day and I saw this display of beautiful glasses. And the, the very phrase, because I'm a man of the spirit, I thank God I'm a Holy Ghost man. I thank God I'm a Holy Ghost man. Amen. I thank God I'm a Holy Ghost Amen. man. Amen. Day one, we said the Holy Ghost will not be apologized in this church. Amen. I am not ashamed of the Holy Ghost. I'm not ashamed of Jesus. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. And I thank God I'm a Holy Ghost controlled man. Amen. 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 I walk by. Now listen very closely. I'm looking at these beautiful glasses. They look like bourbon glasses, but they're just regular glasses. Gold trim, very pretty. Most things in Williamson Omar are gorgeous. Used to be one of my favorite stores. And it said on the glasses and on a sign, love is love. Wow. And the spirit in me was grieved, turned over, and said, that's demonic. And I stopped, I looked at it. We're not even supposed to go into stores while we're at work. I snuck in the store, I picked that up, and it says, we proudly support Gay, lesbian, LGBT, transgender, and we consider all love, love, wow. on the bottom of the glasses. Mm -hmm. So the princes of darkness are compelling pulpits to leave the purity of the word and preach love is love. you got to walk in love. you got to love the reprobates that thumb their nose at God and curse your Jesus. Mm -hmm. Love is not love. What they're saying is we're defining lust as love. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they've departed from this. They've been trained by hell. Mm -hmm. Amen. Naming the name of Jesus, but uncontrolled by the Holy Ghost. Amen. Mm -hmm. So what is, our, what is our answer to the generation that's under more deception, more false illusions, more darkness even in the church than any other generation. How can we stand? We'll be under those whose light is darkness. Amen. When you think you're walking in truth and you're absolutely pitch black in your soul. Woe unto them. They're without hope. What is the answer to that? Have you ever seen a generation that promoted promiscuousness, antichrist, pagan worship as this generation. Amen. Why? Because we have departed from this and left the pathways of our forefathers. Amen. Well, pastor, this is 2019. You need to get relevant. No, this is 2019. This hasn't changed a lick. It is the Lord God that changeth not. 
Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh, the same yesterday, today, and forever. And if it was sin 2,000 years ago, when our Savior walked the shores of Galilee, bless God, it's still sin today. Amen. Whether you've been trained to rephrase it, re-speak it, or retrain it, it is black, dark, filthy sin. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So just having Jesus isn't the answer. How many Christians you know are gushing liberals and hate what this stands for? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Love is God, my dear brothers and sisters. That's right. And God says that's a reprobate mind. Amen. Amen. And God warned us that with all this great outpouring of so-called knowledge, deception, and darkness comes with it. Amen. So a lot of what we're embracing is, look at this new breakthrough. Breakthrough, what's that mean? It meant hell broke through into your living room. Amen. It meant a curse broke through into your understanding. It meant the enemy broke through is now spying in your bedroom. Amen. 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 Not all breakthroughs are godly breakthroughs. Sometimes the enemy breaks through. And you need to make up a hedge in the wall. You need to make up the breach in the wall. You need to build back what was once built, not build something new. Yes. Amen. Amen. Stop looking for a Amen. new move of God. I've said yes. this before under prophetic utterance. Yes. The new move of God, the last day, end time, new move of God is returning back to the old ways of God. Back to sanctification, holiness, righteousness, living pure and preaching the pure and compromised word of Almighty God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where's our hope? I'm glad you asked. Look at John chapter 14. The Gospel of John chapter 14. Say amen like you're Pentecostal when you get there. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. When you get there, look at verse 16. John 14, 16. Glory be to God. This is all red letter in my Bible. Amen. 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 Jesus, the one you call Lord, is talking to us. Yes. Amen. 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 And I will pray the Father, and he will give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world can not receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but you know him, for he dwells with you, and he's going to dwell in you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. What was Jesus' plan? When he left, God the Holy Ghost comes. And what is he? He is the Spirit of truth. Well, they got some truth, and they have some truth. No, they do not. If they're outside Christ, they're of the world, and they know not God. Amen. Amen. And if they don't know God, they do not know the Spirit, which is the Spirit of truth. Not the Spirit of a truth, the truth. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Love Hallelujah. is love. No, it's not. Lust is not love. Amen. And your truth is not truth. And I don't serve a Holy Spirit that's a truth. I serve the Holy Spirit that is the truth. And the world doesn't know Him. I don't care how enlightened they act, look, or what kind of gadgets they invent. It's not of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, look at somebody say, stop giving science God's level of respect. God's level of respect. Hallelujah. That's right. Amen. 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 How many of you know, oh, praise God, hallelujah, go talk to the doctor and your hallelujahs fall straight to the floor. Why? Because you give science the same level of truth as the word of God that they still can't see. I don't care what they invent. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to you, Lord. The only way your countenance will not fall 
And the only way that you are guaranteed to stand is walk in the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Now look over here at verse 26. But the Comforter, say Comforter. 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 But the Midal, didn't say that, did it? But, but the Darbons, didn't, didn't say that, did it? No. But the whatever else they're inventing to control your ADHD little child and your depressed housewife that's got so much goodies and toys, she still can't in her life. So we got to go on psychotropic drugs because living in your million dollar home, driving your Mercedes, you still can't cope. Why? Because none of that brings you to the truth, which is comfort. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Well, no, it's true. If I take this, I feel better. No, that's not true. The Holy Ghost is true. It's just a fact that modifies your behavior. Welcome, Project Paperclip. Well, these drugs will make my son behave and pay attention to school. Welcome, Project Bluebeam. Welcome, Doctrines of Hell. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. I'm clearing up some confusion right now for people all over the body of Christ. Your comfort is the Holy Ghost. Amen. Not the person... Not a doctor, not a lawyer, not a government, not a Democrat, not a Republican. Your comfort is in the Holy Ghost. And if you can't get comfort from the Holy Ghost, you need to meet Him. Amen. And if you know Him and you've met Him and you still don't have comfort, you need to fellowship with Him. Amen. And if you still don't have comfort, you need to fellowship with Him long enough to get comfort. For He is the truth of all comfort. Amen. 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 You better get this through your head. When the doctor says, there's nothing I can do for you, you better find comfort that the Holy Ghost will lead you to Christ, the healer, where all things are possible. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Because this yes, government's going to collapse, child of God. I hope you know that. Yes, Lord. It may collapse before we're raptured. It may collapse after we're raptured. But the kings of the earth will lament and travail and weep and mourn. For in one hour, everything falls apart. And they cannot save it. And we are literally at the brink of that right now. The only comfort you'll have is if you know the Holy Ghost in deed and in person. Amen. Not in philosophy and not in a good teaching. But in actuality, inside, around, and on you. Hallelujah. 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 I can shout in my garage. I can shout in the backyard, boy, in the yard. I can shout in the shower. I can shout getting dressed. I can shout at work. I've got comfort, peace, and joy no matter what my surroundings and circumstances are, whether the lights are on, whether they're off, whether there's gas in my car or there's an empty tank. I've got comfort and joy that's unstoppable, unbeatable, and will not leave me because He dwells in me and will never leave me or forsake me. Amen. 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 Yes, thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Glory God. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name. How dare you say the Holy Ghost is of the devil? When God sent him in the name of of Jesus that you say you're saved by. Amen. Amen. Don't you think it was a... Was, what was Pastor Tony by the unction of the Holy Spirit getting across to us? You take God out of marriage, you've got a marriage that cannot stand. Amen. 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 What was Pastor Darlene trying to say? You take God out of your lifestyle, you've got kids that are going to go to hell. What are you trying to say, Pastor? I say, you take God out of the nation, you got a nation that cannot stand. Amen. It all goes back to the Word of God, the presence of God, the Holy Ghost. And you start reshaping it, being motivated, controlled, and shaped by the so-called knowledge of the world, you will not stand. And that's the whole point. Satan attacks the marriage because he doesn't want them to be able to walk in the revelation that one puts a thousand to flight, Two puts 10,000 to fly. Amen. Amen. He doesn't want you to 
walk in the revelation that a godly man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. He doesn't want that blessing perpetuated in the earth. Why? Because where the righteous rule, there's peace. Amen. Why do you think we're in so much turmoil and upheaval in this nation? It hasn't been the righteousness of God ruling. It's been the intellect and so-called false knowledge of man that's made the decisions. Amen. Amen. How many of you know there'll be Christians for the next years until the rapture going in Williams-Sonoma buying stuff, reading the sign and say, oh, isn't that interesting? And still purchasing what they're compelled to buy. <laughs> Violating the very proclamation of hell as they come in the door. Amen. 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 Well, yeah, but it's, it's, it's not a sin to have glasses. It is if you put the money in the coffers of Antichrist. Yes. yes. Amen. Amen. And I got news for you. Most everything you wear, most everything you drive, most everything you possess was designed by somebody that thumbs their nose at God. Yes. That's why I don't plan to ever go the next rest of my natural life. I'll never set foot in Disneyland again. That's right. That's right. Amen. There's certain things, folks, I don't care who, I don't care if your grandma's going preaching Jesus in Disneyland, I'll never set foot in Disneyland again. Amen. And you know why, I don't have to get into another 15 minute rabbit. When you're having gay parades in Disneyland, forget it. Abomination. Desolation. Amen. How dare you be entertained by that? Amen. Amen. How dare you give your money to the children of hell? Because that brings you comfort. Amen. Can I hear an amen? Amen. 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 That's good preaching. You'll feel, you'll get yes. that later on. Amen. 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 And as usual, just because you get it doesn't mean we're going to stop preaching it because there's a thousand people that might stumble onto this website. Maybe somebody will pass it on. Maybe somebody's life can be changed. Yes, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now skip down to verse 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, watch, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Hallelujah. How many of you talk to troubled Christians? Yes. How many of you talk to Christians with no peace? Yes. How many of you talk to Christians afraid all the time? Yes. That's the verse right after I give you a comforter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory I'm God. here to tell you under the instructions of the Holy Spirit, God himself, that he said this has to be taught because the only hope for this generation is to abide in the shadow of the Almighty and live there in the presence of and guiding hand of an instruction, instructing voice of the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Because I'll tell you what, his voice will tell you that's not knowledge. That's not wisdom. It's an illusion of knowledge. It's an illusion of wisdom. That's not going here and there. That's going nowhere fast. So in the last days, they'll run to and fro, and they're still not going to get anywhere. Why? Because your life's just spinning the wheels if you're not in Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory to God. Now look over at chapter, or chapter 15, verses 23. You're going to love this. Are you ready? Amen. Amen. He that hateth me, hateth my father also. Yes. Wow. How many churches do you know where they absolutely will say to your face, we don't allow that Holy Ghost stuff in here. Well, it goes on later to say, I'm not going to cover every verse. I might. I'm feeling energetic. <laughs> the father sent the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. So if you hate the Holy Ghost, it might be a, a, a red light telling you what you got. Nothing else. Let's, let's sure. just say in the Amplified. The one who hates me also hates my okay. father. Okay, listen. If you hate the Holy Ghost, you might hate the one to send him. That's right. mm. Amen. Amen. Come on. And if you hate Jesus, he just flat said, you can't sit there with this, this little enlightened guru saying, well, we love Buddha and we love Muhammad and we love Zoroaster, and, but, but you got to stop preaching Jesus. How many of you know these really sweet, loving gurus on TV 
start doing this when a Christian preacher starts saying, this is the truth. You can't say that such a right. mm -hmm. well, What happened to your love there, enlightened one? Because right. they on. hate the one God sent. Amen. Amen. Don't tell me you're sitting there a lover of God in some kind of enlightenment and so-called knowledge when you gnash your teeth at Jesus and mock the Holy Ghost he sent. I've had Christians say, how can you say that? Well, I just read in the Bible. You can't say it. You're not listening. I didn't say it. I'm just repeating what he said. Well, how dare you? No, what you mean is how dare God. Don't you tell me Jesus said that. You hate his word. You hate him. You hate him. You hate the God you say you serve. And there is no light in you. I don't care what kind of knowledge and revelation you claim you've got. Amen. What am I saying? you, you got to understand and unwrap this large, dark, black onion of deception that has even raised the church. And get back to thus saith the Lord. I don't care about hair strings and hair lips, mama. Amen. 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 Somebody say hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Glory be to God. Be to if God. your mama's halfway right with God, halfway a good person that really does care about God, she'll get right with God. Isn't that right, Mary? Amen. 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 Mary used to think I was the preacher from hell, dragging her baby to, to the pit and abyss. Now she's back there talking in tongues, screaming hallelujah. Thank Why? Because there was a desire to be right with God. Yes. Amen. Jesus. Yes. Amen. If your relatives cuss you, pray for them. There might be a spark God can fan and bring them around. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Are you learning anything? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now... Look over here at verse 23. He that hated me hated my father. Verse 26. But when the comforter is come, whom I will send. Where'd the Holy Ghost come from? And Jesus said, I'll send him too. He's coming from the Father and from me. And half the church thinks he's from hell. 